right, and hello to our very first video on Mr. Pisto Gaming. We have a series that I would like to call Tavins Tours, where we will go and tour the Happy Home Paradise Islands that I've created for my favorite villagers and some villagers that you might think are your favorites. Uh, put a lot of time and a lot of effort into a lot of these islands and Tavin is really proud of what we've made in today's video we're going to look at melba marina and one of my favorites huck and all of the really cool ideas and concepts that i've come up with so i hope that you get some inspiration from these videos you find some ideas from these videos so if you could kindly like subscribe and notify to this channel we'll be doing a lot of animal crossing content along with other games like Pokemon and who knows, maybe some uh, Stardew Valley, different things. So today we're going to do some tours with Tavin and let's go and get to our first island. All right. So like I said, first up in today's video is the lovely Melba. Her theme when she first approaches you is a fairy tale world. She just tired herself out from playing in all those leaves. Tavin really tried to consider the whole fairy tale theme when we when we were decorating um, her items that when she comes and approaches you at first are some of the dreamy items, some of the mushroom items, some of the fairy tale items, and KK birthday is her song. So the outside of her amazing fairy tale world. At first, I had it filled with bright flowers and butterflies, and that just really wasn't doing it for me. We decided we wanted to make it some kind of mysterious, uh, foggy fairy tale world, and I think that really, really paid off in what we have in front of us right now. Look up in this left top hand corner, you can see that we have a tribute to Alice in Wonderland. One of my favorite fairy tales growing up was Alice in Wonderland, and you can see we have the white rabbit at the party along with. Alice, the Mad Hatter, which we're representing here as the magic set. The cookies on the table are the cookies that tempt Alice and make her change from large to small and small to large. And it's just a fun, vibe, cool, interesting place. I think fall fits this area better um, with the mushroom lamps and the dying vines and the uh, teddy bears all over the place gives it a really fairy tale mysterious kind of area and the song that we have playing in our really cool lily music player is kk dub because we felt that it really sets the kind of mysterious um vibes that melba's fairy tale world really should have so this is the outside. I hope you gain some inspiration. Maybe not from Melba, but for somewhere else that you want to make into a fairy tale world. And we're going to make our way to the inside of Melba's Happy Home Paradise home. If you like in this already, hit consider hitting that like button, subscribe and notify. And let's make our way inside. Oop. All right, we are now inside the downstairs area of Melba's fairy tale world vacation home. And when I think of fairy tales, one of the things that I first think of is the color green. I, I don't really know why, but it just that's what came to me. So we made Melba's happy home paradise vacation home in a green theme. Beautiful forests, beautiful grass. Greenery this really comes to my mind when I think of fairy tales. I chose the song KK Lovers to create a great relaxed atmosphere when you have it that along with our little gyroid, the bubble gyroid on the wall and the sounds coming from the television, you get a very interesting foresty atmosphere. I think Alice in Wonderland, I've tried to put a little bit in here again. You can see right beside the television there is the white rabbit on the coffee table 
in the middle of the room, you can see the mushrooms that Alice consumes in Alice in Wonderland. And we have the Queen of Hearts represented by both the stack of cards on the desk and the chess set on the fireplace. I think one of the, my favorite parts about this whole area is that fireplace. I think it's really cool. I think I like the brick concept of it all being put together. And I think it really gives a focal point for the room and draws it all together into one identity. All right, we are going to make our way, sneak past there, run around here, and we're going to go upstairs. All right, let's go. All right, we are now in Melba's upstairs of her happy home paradise vacation home. We have KK Lullaby playing in the background. We have greens once again, because I just wanted to stick with that green theme. We have a couple of gyroids with a deutoid, if you saw that just by the bed, along with the brustoid. I think you combine those two uh, gyroids with our music coming from a music box in the walk-in closet, and you get a really cool, relaxed, atmosphere that you would want in a bedroom you see the white rabbit is still here alice in wonderland is still present and we can see mr tavin there uh really enjoying the bathroom yeah, i guess he really needed to go and uh melba was light enough to let him use her bathroom she has two sinks which is very luxurious along with the elegant furniture to give her bedroom a really nice uh, atmosphere she's a puppy dog and she really, really enjoys her little puppy dog to keep her company in the winter and in the weather when it's not so nice out like it is currently on her island. All right, this was Melba's happy home paradise vacation home. I hope you enjoyed it. Now it's time for us to make our way out and to our next adventure. All right go so our next happy home paradise vacation home is of my personal favorite villager marina the amazingly fun octopus her theme when she first comes up to you to ask you to do a home is marina's underwater palace and when you unlock her she gives you the shell items ocean-based floors and walls, and some beach items that you can use to decorate with, along with the song Space KK. We are on the outside of Marina's uh, underwater palace, and you can't be outside, but we can make a really fun beach place. You need a place to relax when you leave your underwater palace. One thing that I really like to place on the beaches, along with a few shells, is the seaweed. I feel it really gives a, a, a vi an aspect of the beach that is alive and realistic. The song that we have playing here is KK Island, because we want to enjoy the island life. So we're going to head into Marina's home, and we are going to start with the upstairs of this one, because the downstairs is the showpiece, the upstairs is the accent of this home. All right, let's make our way inside Marina's home. So when you first enter Marina's upstairs, I really wanted you to feel like you were on the surface of the ocean, floating in the waves, drifting in the current, being one with the nature above the ocean floor. I really, really like the mobiles that are hanging from the ceiling when you get them to look like seagulls. It's just a lot of fun. And this is where Marina can come splash around on the surface, interact with her non underwater dwelling villager friends and just have a lot of fun. We have KK surfing as the main song for our upstairs in Marina's home because I wanted it to feel the adrenaline of having an adventure in the waves. Her upstairs came to me after the downstairs. I was kind of stumped on what to do and then just was like, boom, this is a really cool idea. So 
So this is it. The upstairs of Marina's underwater palace. Now it's time to make our way to the actual palace underneath the surface of the ocean. Here we go. So I usually try and pick one area in the house, either the upstairs or the downstairs, depending on the character, to really hit home with the theme. And I really do feel like I hit the nail on the head with this uh, home being an underwater palace. The sh finding a shell, taking a seat, listening to the ocean flow past you. I think I could do that all day when I'm down here. The combination of the underwater soundscape, Marina's song, KK Space, the bubble machines, and the bubble blowing uh, gyroid just really all put it together. And I just feel it checks all the right boxes. I just want to kind of sit here for a few seconds and really just enjoy the underwater palace that is Marina's. All right, now that Marina's is done, let's move on to our final villager of the tour. All right, let's go. All right, our last happy home paradise vacation spot is that of Huck and his adventure camp. Yes, that is the theme that Huck comes to you when he asks you to make a uh, vacation home for him. He wants to go on an adventure. It really was hard at first for me to come up with an idea, come up with a concept, but then I saw the spooky trees and thought, yes, we're going to make a spooky Halloween outdoor adventure with a cool camp inside the home. So when Huck, when you unlock Huck, you get the ruin items, you get the elegant furniture, you get some medieval items and you get the song KK Bazaar. And that song is actually the one playing in the background of this area. I thought it kind of made the feeling of a spooky atmosphere that was just right for kids going on an adventure and making their way to their adventure camp. Something I really, really thought was very cool and I never seen in the dark before was the glowing inside of the cave. I think it comes and makes a really cool atmosphere and a really cool idea within our spooky adventure camp. So let's make our way inside the home and we can see what's happening inside the cabin of Huck's adventure camp. All right, we are here in the downstairs of Huck's adventure camp cabin. This is the lobby where you can check in your child or your students for their adventure camp and their adventure with the Huck tour. He has bathrooms so that the kids don't have to go outside. He's got a really cool arcade and the song of KK Adventure is being played because it helps get the kids ready and excited for their upcoming adventure while mom and dad get some nice free time to themselves so that Huck can take care of them on a very fun, spooky adventure. The upstairs is all set and ready to go so the kids can be relaxed and feel safe when they are not out on their adventures. Let's go. All right, so when you first walk into the upstairs area of Huck's Adventure Camp, you are greeted with Huck's living space where he can sleep and make sure that the kids in their living space, their bedding, their dorm, are playing safe, having fun, sleeping well, not bothering each other, getting the rest they need in order to be able to play and have fun in their adventure camp. I really, really like how this came out. The uh, different colored lamps, all the different colored lockers, the different colored bunk beds. And if it happens to be a rainy day and you're unable to make your way outside of the building, there's a fun toy area, has some toys, has some model kits, a puzzle, something that keeps the children or students busy while the rain is happening. 
So I, these are the three homes, vacation homes that we visited today. Let's have a little, say a little goodbye and then the video will be over. All right, let's go say goodbye. Kevin and I would like to thank you so much for watching this video. Please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell so that you can see when the next one comes in. They take a little bit of work. The planning is lots of fun. The game is absolutely fantastic. So I hope you come and watch our next video. Uh, I also have a channel on Magic the Gathering. There'll be a link in the description below if you like that card game and you want to see some cool, fun games of that. By all means, it would be awesome if you check me out there. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. From Mr. Pisto to you, and from Tavin to you. Bye for now.